Uh. Hey guys, welcome back here today. Um, so I'm going to talk about the new NCLEX. So thanks to the coronavirus, there's uh, NCLEX was, I won't say revised, but the standards were changed in the sense of the test is just as hard, uh, but the minimum amount of questions you have now is 60 questions instead of 75. But the better news is the maximum you can take is 130 instead of 265. So it's essentially half of the test, sorry, half of the old maximum is the maximum that you can get. And that's that's a huge burden I think that's lifted. Uh, I've taken both versions. I did fail my first time. So taking it the second time, I don't think it was easier by any means. Uh, I don't think it was harder either. I was more prepared, I believe, but just not having that extra stress uh, and then at a time crunch to take 265 questions uh, was a lot. Okay, um, I took it my second go past with 80 questions. Um, so what I'm trying to say, oh, uh, one other thing is it went from, I think f you have a maximum now of four hours instead of uh, six hours. I think you had six hours before. So they took away more than half of the test, uh, just more than half of the test, 130 questions total now, so 265, and they still give you two-thirds of the amount of time uh, as originally needed. Now, there's some rumors going around out there that people are thinking that the test is easier. It's not easier. Okay, The questions are just as tough. It's just as hard. It's still computer adaptive. Uh, what they essentially did was took a lot of the uh, perspective questions that they might introduce in future NCLEXs and removed those, so test bed questions. Um, so pretty much they, they just kept meat and potatoes. They didn't put any of that filler kind of BS questions in there uh, because you don't know which ones are actually the filler questions um, and which ones are the real questions that they will be creating. Um, they do that from what I understand every time that NCLEX is given to see which questions are viable. Um, so there's that. Um, I kind of went over my first video about how <laughs> how not to pass the NCLEX um, and why you need to kind of prepare and how to prepare on my first two series. I want to release this one as clarification about the new um, post-COVID-19 kind of setup that they're doing. Um, Pearson View is also doing a lot of cancellations. Um, so kind of my journey through it is in January, late January, after a bunch of problems with Pearson View, trying to schedule my first exam, I took it and did not pass. Um, you can watch my first video on that. Um, and rescheduled it. You have 45 days to reschedule. So, sorry, 45 days post your prior test to retake. So you have to wait the 45 days. I think it's 46. Um, so that was another pain. Uh, so I was originally scheduled, I think, for March. I want to say it's 22nd. And then like four days before that, they cleared me, good to go. And three hours later, they were like, all the testing centers are shut down. And I was like, well, damn. So they shut all the testing centers down because that's when most of the country was getting shut down thanks to COVID-19 and the government. And what happened was, is they said that they were shutting it all down, I think for 30 days. It was like 30 something days. And so the earliest test date I could do was April 20th or 21st. So I immediately signed up for my second exam again. Uh, of course, Pearson View did not have, did not really tell me to reschedule. Um, so you have to check on your account and reschedule it on your own. Anyways, uh, somewhere in the middle, I think they decided there was either not enough nurses uh, who were going to be filling in the gaps because a lot of them were going to get sick uh, or get killed or something dumb. Um, that they decided they had to reopen the testing bed. Uh, so they reopened the testing bed, changed the questions 130, um, minimum 60, four hours, and they limited it to 10 people per testing center, I believe, to keep sanitations and the number of people, social distancing, and all that stuff down. Uh, what else? Um, check around. Uh, when you search for that second test, uh, you have to look. Uh, the closest exam I could find to me was like 160 miles from me. While my original exam, I took like 40 minutes away. Um, so you have to look around and expand your search. Um, what else? Uh, get there early. Uh, find a good parking spot. Find out where you're supposed to go. Um, 
prepare yourself and I'll talk about that on preparation but that's just kind of that intro on the new things on the new exams all right anyways thanks for watching and we'll go on from here